So, first couple orders actually need to be gift wrapped, so... <laughs> a little bit more. Let's get them gift wrapped. So, back again, Acadian Gundam. Cool. Um, yeah, decided to make a video today because we just found out. So, the plan was to make a video because we were going to get two or three skids worth of stuff. And now it's been delayed another week. I kind of wanted to release one video a week for you guys. And, you know, with the, with the delay being there, I figured why not make a video today. So... Uh, what we got going on today is that a lot of the kits in the overstock section, which is the top section, there's my hand there, need to come down. So just like this uh, GM needs to be put down here because there's no point in them being way up there. So plan is to kind of clean this place up. There's two uh, stacks of boxes here for no reason. There's, you know, mismatched stuff. Usually when we uh, package, we're just running, 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 and then things kind of get disaligned and stuff like that we're just trying to make it look at this i don't even know what's going on there there we go so yeah it's just a lot of cleaning up today we got 30 packages to do uh this is still a disaster hopefully we're gonna get through it at or get to it at some point walk you down the middle aisle here still a freaking disaster but uh you guys gave me a bunch of good ideas and it's just a matter of figuring them out tall geese tall geese those guys are not even down here. Oh, yeah, there are, but we can still stack a few of these. So, yeah, 30-minute <laughs> missions is just a 30-minute all over the damn place. So we got to fix that. Uh, you got your uh, Zeongs. It's basically empty, but uh, up here we got, uh, <laughs> it looks like uh, 50. So we got to bring some down here just to make it, uh, you know, so we don't need to ladder constantly. Uh, you got your force impulse, you got a stack up there, nothing there. So that's kind of what I was planning on doing today. This is just a disaster where Greymon is not even supposed to be here. But, uh, yeah, look at this freaking disaster as well. But, um, uh, so it's unfortunate that the skids are a little bit late, but you know, look out for that. Cause that is coming. Uh, even this section, the iron blood and orphans, like a lot of those can come down here those ones, those ones, lupus, yeah, that, uh, a couple of those maybe, uh, age got decimated, but we still have three overstock, the wing Gundams are not even supposed to be here, I hit something, <laughs> noodle soups can come down, uh, let's see here, double O stuff, double O stuff, pretty much all can come down, so that's perfect, we gotta clear this out, because when these new skids arrive, we need the room, uh, to make it work, so we got the high resolution stuff up there that could stay. So yeah, a bunch of things we got to do. But we got roughly 31 orders to do, 30, 31, something like that. I mean, some of them could be private warehouse or whatever. But, uh, you know, very manageable manageable number uh, for myself. Um, I'm by myself today, so it's just me, myself, and I. Uh, I did go through the orders quickly. A lot of people wanted to be in the video, so, you know, I put two and two together, and here we are. We're making a video for you guys, so... Let's get started. We're going to package first and then we're going to clean this place up. Last thing I want to do is clean it up and do it backwards, you know, clean it up first and then make a disaster and then package or whatever. So uh, let's get pull, orders pulled. And actually, this is a nightmare too. I got to figure out a spot for all of these damn boxes. But, uh, oh, look at this. There's still boxes full of... Here we got the Exia. And these are the HCMs. So, look at that. Comes with a special edition. All kinds of things. These are, I think, on the website. Gotta take a look at that. Gotta empty all of this out, too. There's a whole bunch of things in there. Even Iron Blooded Orphans. So, anyways, let's get uh, packaging first. Let's pull all these orders and let's get started. So exciting. The first couple of orders need to be gift wrapped. So, let's unravel this and get them wrapped. All right. And just like that, we packaged uh, two of them. One is. Uh, Someone requested gift wrapping, and the other one was won by uh, watching Guilo's stream. So I'll link that in the description below. He does a stream. He's building the Perfect Grade uh, RX-78 uh, Unleashed. And during the stream around, you know, 2 o'clock-ish on Saturdays, he give, does a giveaway that we sponsor. So if you uh, want to win something, definitely check it out. All right, so I just found out 
I can I can't tell you about this one, but I can tell you about this one. This is Terry from uh, Newfoundland. He actually won Guaylo's uh, giveaway. So we just shipped out a package to him. Was it a couple days ago? Maybe yesterday? And uh, now we're shipping this one out. So uh, Terry, uh, your prize is on its way. Terry, next order. Wanted to be in video, and it's Ronald from Arizona. And I love his comment that he put down in the order. Adding to the mountain of kits to build. Well, you're definitely building up that mountain. And after Ronald, we got Ronald again. So this one's going to California. So we need a couple of origin and some God hand precision nipper. So let's see if we can go and find these kits. Now, let's see. Hopefully I remember them correctly. First one, perfect. And then a half cannon, perfect. Oops, can you see that? All right, let's get these in queue. Okay. Whoops, 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 whoops. Boom. In queue, and we need some precision nippers. So they're in this box underneath the table. I know it's a bit of a disaster here. So, we can pull this out. What is this? Oh. Nope. Perfect. And there we go. After that one, we grabbed this one, and now we got Eric's order. Oh, uh, my order can be used in uh, video. Love the warehouse videos. Well, you love them, we keep making them. So let's grab yours. It's a little bit big, so I might have to do this uh, off camera. All right, Eric, got it in queue. You had me <laughs> you had me running around a bit, but I got everything together. Since then, we pulled about three more orders, and this one, this person didn't want to be on camera, but uh, let's uh, take a look at his order anyways. Five Leo. So uh, let's go grab those. That's actually a pretty fun order. Again, would love to know backstories of uh, certain orders, and uh, I wonder what uh, this gentleman's up to. So one, two, three, four, five. Right? One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. I'm looking through uh, the little lens here, so sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. So I just thought that was a really neat order. Next. All right, so here's what we got so far. You might be able to spot your order again. <laughs> and we got room for one more. And guess what? Jose from Oregon, we're grabbing yours right now. So let's do this live. It's only two. So Destiny and Force Impulse. All right, let's take a peek here. Destiny is number 11. Perfect. Let's see if we can zoom out so we can get a better view. Perfect. All right, so we got, uh, what do we got here? Destiny and then Force Impulse 33. Stack these. Here, we'll go this way this time. Jose, we got it. It's basically finishing the line here. And there we go. So... We're gonna package all these ones up and on to the next uh, bunch. All right, I just thought of actually something interesting. Now we're we're packaging Ronald's first order and he ordered two kits and the nippers. So what we'd like to do normally, so you know, we have had emails in the past saying, hey, I never got my little paint or my little tool or whatever it may be. What we like to do is put it inside one of the boxes. The reason being is it doesn't get flopped around in the box. It doesn't, uh, you know, it, it's pretty stable in here. From our experience, it doesn't damage anything inside the box. We haven't had a single complaint about that. And uh, I mean, we could, we could always, I guess, package it like this and then have it here. But if something were to happen, let's say, um, to the box and it gets kicked in there you're gonna have an imprint of the nippers right here so what we like to do is just put nicely put it in the box in a nice safe location i'm gonna go over this again close up the box and put it in uh this box 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 <laughs> the whole point is to keep everything safe so if you do ever get an order and say oh man where's my paint or where's my this make sure you take a look inside the boxes because it's honestly the safest place for these kind of items so just uh fyi type of thing Okay, let's get this package up and get it out. All right, so I'm just about to, uh, about to put my little logo on uh, Rondel's box here, and that brings me to another point. Uh, I actually ran out and grabbed a couple of boxes. I just have to put a stick on this one, but actually we can keep that back there. So uh, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, who cares about the box? And you know, who cares about this? And uh, I don't mind if the box gets damaged, it gets destroyed. It's all about the feeling. I mean, so these companies, you know, it happens to me a lot and it's kind of frustrating. You know, I don't care about boxes either, you know, but there's a lot of people that do. I mean, the art is beautiful and I mean, it is what it is. Um, but, uh, you know, even if I don't keep a box for 
whatever I might purchase, even a video game or something, like whatever it may be, uh, it's nice to get a nice clean box because you feel confident in the product. I mean, they spent a lot of time even designing this box and last thing you wanna do is get something like this from our last shipment. Imagine if this arrived to your house, uh, the feeling you get. First thing, very first thing I feel, even though I don't care about the boxes, it's damaged and I just got ripped off. That's the last thing we want. <laughs> I mean, that's terrible. I'm just looking at this. Everything inside is fine. See if I can even get this open, let's see. This is going on the boneyard for a deep discount, but let's take a look inside here. I mean, everything is, see, it's, it's so, None of the, the kit is not damaged. Even the manual seems fine. Uh, it doesn't even seem creased at all. Let's see here. I don't want everything flopping around everywhere. I mean, even the manual doesn't even have a wrinkle in it. So, but it's it's the first impression, right? You know, some people don't want... It, it's the feeling of... Okay, that's not going to go together, right? But it's the feeling. If I got something like this, and I know people have... Uh, horror stories from uh, different companies where they just either stick a label right there and boom out the door it goes or they literally wrap it in a plastic bag which we definitely don't do here we nice solid cardboard boxes uh, but I mean what would people prefer I know some people are like I don't care as long as it's not damaged I'll take this but for the general public and then pretty much I would say 80% of people they much rather get something like this so that's why we take the extra effort I mean if this thing had a crease even a slight crease uh down the middle or you know I do have other examples which I'm not going to pull out right now but uh just slight creases and stuff like that you know it's it, it's not worth we we try and have a high standard here and and that's the way uh, we run our business. So don't worry, you're not gonna get something like this unless you purposely pay for something like this in the boneyard. And this will be going to the boneyard. We're just trying to collect a decent amount so that, uh, you know, everyone has a chance of getting something. So, and you know, maybe in the next skid, there's usually something damaged and uh, hopefully it'll be enough items. But onto the next uh, package, we gotta get stuff shipped out. Hot damn, I almost forgot to put a label on this. I don't think it would have made it. <laughs> But uh, I just printed it out. Jeez, that would have been a terrible situation. See, that's why you don't get uh, distracted too, too much. Just finishing up Eric's order and uh, took a couple of boxes, but I found one that is perfect for his order. So we just got to cut it down and get it shipped out. And to finish this off, Jose's order is the last one on the table before we have to pick more. So we're just packaging this one up and on the way it goes. Cleared the table and next we got Clint from Massachusetts, right? Yeah. He said, uh, hey, I'd like to be on one of your videos, basically. Uh, shout out to my channel, Level X Labs. Let's see if I can uh, get this on screen. And that's the way it looks like. Level and then X Labs. So it looks like he's stuck at home and uh, I'm going to make some build videos. It's been 20 years since my last build. So let's grab this order and get it shipped out to him so he can start his new venture on YouTube. I figure I'd take you guys along on the journey. It's not too many items. So first thing we need, it's a little bit dark over here, but action base fours. Damn, was it clear? I think it was clear. Should have double checked, but oops, one and a two. We're getting pretty low on action bases. All right, whoops, I just got snagged on something. We need an Exia, perfect. And uh, here we go, perfect. Eh. Come on bases. No, this is not exactly easy on camera. I'm trying to find a new salute, uh, a new way, anyways. To get this all figured out. So let's bring this into queue. And Clint, you're the first one up. Whoops. Perfect. And now we're on to Sean's order from Alberta. And uh, so he ordered twice, uh, two different orders, uh, going to the same place. So we got to package them together. And the first one is the high resolution God Gundam. Let's see here. So I'm going to need a ladder. And just to introduce everybody to my uh, ladder, this is old Riggedy. She uh, she moves around, she's really light, and she keeps you reasonably safe. <laughs> I'm the only one here that's allowed to use it, because if I fall, just gotta walk it off. <laughs> Let's get the rest of his order. So we got the high resolution Gundam. We're gonna need 
gunner and crossbone 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 where is the crossbone did i miss it already hmm crossbone oh, gotta walk over oh, grab it all right let's get this in queue all right next up we got jesus from victoria victoria no 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 Vancouver, Vancouver. Sorry about that, Jesus. Feel free to add to your next video to celebrate my mom finally getting into the hobby. Can you guess which one in the order caught her eye? I wonder which one. All right, so that's the order so far. We're gonna need also two Barbatos. So let's grab these two here, add it to the pile. And one more from the pile of the Hello Kitties. So, um, you pretty much took the rest of the end of the table, basically. So, uh, I think we're gonna cut it off here, get these all packed out, and start over again. All right, finished up the board here, and I got Jesus' uh, order. Got it to fit. It's nice and uh, good. Nothing too tight, nothing uh, to flop around too much. We're just gonna get it packaged and uh, get it shipped out. So. Keep an eye out for that tracking number. And it looks like we got three more orders to ship out and that's it for today. Well, order wise. And then we're gonna see if we have time to organize some shelving. So let me knock these ones out and finish it up. All right, so here are all the packages going out today. We got them all set up on the skid here. Not a whole lot today, but very calm. So it's kind of nice. Uh, usually it's pretty hectic, so whoops, yeah. It's kind of nice. So let's get uh, started on this disaster. Maybe we'll start on this shelf and see how far we get. So we got to put away these kits. These are usually mistakes or cancellations. Uh, this is my demonstration piece that I use, action bases. Uh, a couple of kits under here. There's some sliding under there. So we just got to organize that first. Right, so take a look at that not only did we get a whole ton of room up there but everything looks nice and full i mean not everything because we're just out of things but uh it's so much easier to uh i guess deal with and now we got a lot more room so you know on to the next shelf each shelf uh, has some random items on here which we got to get rid of just to you know for whatever reason they ended up in this uh little spot heavy arms is not even supposed to be here so let's get this out of the way Oops, I don't want to fall over either. Uh, and the Gundam wing up there, uh, wing zero, that needs to leave. And also the noodles. We only have that, those three kits for the age, so I'm going to get them. Actually, you know what? Let's do this together. Just move over the ladder. This is what, 2035? Oh, we can't even put them here. <laughs> it's already pretty much at the top, so those ones can stay. But uh, let's get these other ones out of here. Now we gotta get to the double O's. Now uh, we can get a bunch of these down. Number 12, perfect. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 63 is probably not gonna fit. And 67, we can get that one stuck up there. So let's clear off this. so we pretty much cleared the whole upper shelf except for those two and not uh, those four up there but other than that it looks pretty good uh, there's a few open spots because you know things go in between them but uh, yeah it's looking pretty good everything's looking pretty straight I mean there's some gapage here and there it's supposed to be a five somewhere in there <laughs> but uh, no everything looks uh, pretty good I still have to organize all of this it's kind of here because just haven't dedicated a spot yet Oh, you got your Star Wars, your Dragon Ball Z. No, that's not even the, all, all the Star Wars. We got, uh, let me take you over here. Cats, for some reason, are over there. We got boxes, literally, of Star Wars. Each one has, like, 60. So, and then we have some down here. And then it's just a mix of everything over here. <laughs> so, but our goal right now, just to uh, clear the upper shelves for the new inventory that's coming in. So... Let's go uh, next to the real grades. Let's get that taken care of. Right here at the real grades section. So there's actually quite a bit, it seems like, that can come down. 
uh, plus it just needs simple organization like these things don't belong here 30 minute mission stuff uh, it's just there you know because for whatever reason uh, it made it there so let's uh, let's take some of these down yeah we need uh, actually maybe not a lot can come down the Zaku's seven actually you know what on second thought not a lot can come down but a couple of things just to uh top it up uh unicorn can come down the uh, yeah force impulse oops okay i'm not even showing you guys these ones yeah pretty much all of those can come down and then these ones bro how at least one stack can come down so let's get started on that for the real grades we did a pretty good job we did clear out quite a bit i mean we have a ton of the zongs zongs <laughs> uh so um yeah i got a nice stack here we ended up uh that one wouldn't fit and then the rest of them you know don't fit but uh everything's looking pretty pretty good actually i forgot to uh, move these things out of the way so we're gonna do that now and just scoot them over here i'll just scoot them up on the other side in a moment uh, and uh, everything's looking good, pretty good here. So we're going to move on to the Universal Sentries. Or actually, you know what? We got Destiny over there, so let's do Destiny. Or Gundam Seed and Destiny. So, yeah, a lot of things can come down. So let's do that next. Look at this pile. Holy moly. Funny thing I just noticed. So I played back the video to make sure it was actually uh, working. And I wasn't recording just nothing. And I am using a wide-angle lens. So this is normal. And then you got your wide. So, you know, regular film adds 10 pounds. I think the wide angle lens adds an addi additional like 20 pounds. So I feel or I look a lot wider. <laughs> so it's just kind of funny. That's all. All right, so that came out pretty good. Uh, I didn't really save too much room up here or anything like that, but this looks a lot better, a lot more lush, and uh, I might as well do it now while I'm doing it so that I don't have to climb up the ladder 10 times later uh, to get kits. So this look, this is looking a lot better. Uh, I do have to clean up this area. I'm not sure what happened here, but a lot of random items uh, ended up uh, setting, settling here. So, but on to, uh, oh, and then over here too. We got to deal with this. But uh, onto the Universal Sentries and get those organized. Right over here, we got the noodle cups that are going to go way up there. We got heavy arms, which are supposed to go roughly in this section where pretty much these uh, aqua aurora effects uh, are supposed to go. We got the sword, uh, sorry, impulse that needs to go basically actually right here. So the rest are going to go up there. Uh, wing zero from the other, uh, other shelf. Uh, it's going to go, what is it, 174, so 174, and then the rest are going to go up there. We're going to just have to make room. Look at that tower. Uh, let's see, the goofs, goofs, goofs. 196. Yeah, those can go uh, over here, so we'll put them over there. What else, what else? Yeah, just a lot of uh, things here and there can come down, and uh, we're going to free up a lot of space up there since we are getting... Uh, a bunch of universal sentries we also have to move these boxes out of the way i'm not sure why they're there and then eventually we're gonna have to deal with this which i haven't figured out yet <laughs> so let's get started So starting from the front here, 
things are looking a lot what i forgot i still have to add this one to the website that's the quarantine one uh the one behind it is actually private warehouse this one in front is the quarantine one but uh let's see here walk the line without bumping into anything sorry out of breath just up and down the ladder so many times running around so it's actually looking pretty good a lot of open spaces which is great you know for the new shipment and yeah, looking fantastic. So I ended up putting uh, these uh, Aurora effects up there. The noodles, we got a nice open spot here. The heavy arms, don't ask, it's already all sold out. Um, pretty much all of this is private warehouse. This I gotta still figure out. Uh, we ended up getting, we have to get rid of all this cardboard, which I gotta get rid of. Anyways, I hope you guys uh, like this unplanned video. Next week is gonna be good. We're gonna get two skids um uh, odds are there's probably something damaged there always is pretty much <laughs> so everyone's rooting for that i'm uh, dreading that and yeah so oh we never got around to this let's at least put these side by side boom so yeah thanks for uh watching the videos supporting the videos you know sharing them around i really appreciate that the comments you know if you have a question just put it down below and uh i'll hopefully get to it i've been getting to pretty much all of them it just takes me a day or two since uh you know going through comments emails and phone calls and packaging and then you know it sometimes takes me an extra day or two to get uh through everything but uh yeah make sure if you're not subscribed subscribe because i'm constantly going to going forward try and make more videos and thanks again for watching can't wait for that new shipment to arrive